Good morning, my brother and sister, wherever you are this wonderful day. It's the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. I'm grateful to God as always for what he has given us and is the gift of life. And today as we jump into power to become, which is designed to give you and I the strength and the wisdom and the courage we need to be able to step forth in every single day, my wonderful friends, and to see what God can do for us. And today in power to become, I'm talking about a very interesting topic. It's entitled, Think Differently. Think differently. And I get this from Romans chapter 12, verse 2, that says, Don't be conformed to this world, but be continuously transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may be able to determine what God's will is and what is proper, pleasing, and perfect. When I say think differently, I mean this. But as a child of God, you don't have to always align your thought process to what you see. You don't have to align your thought process to what you hear unless you're hearing what God is saying. As a child of God, you must have the mindset that I have to look at things the way my father would look at them. It says, don't be conformed to this world. Meaning that don't align your thought pattern. Think differently. If they say that this can't succeed, if they say that this can't work, they say it's impossible for people like you to get things like this, then my dear friends, it's important for you to realize that in my thinking, I have a different way of doing things. I have a different way of understanding things. I have a different way of approaching my life. My perspective has been changed since I met the Lord. Is your perspective the way it was before? Remember, I've always liked to say this, and you've heard me say this many times in the, in the Bible class, that the laws of the world are very simple. What goes up must come down. Laws of the world are you must know someone to get somewhere. You know? But if I think differently and understand something, with God, it's from glory to glory. With God, there is a way where there is no way. With God, he can make a crooked place straight. He can make streams in the midst of the desert. I must believe that in my thinking as a child of God, that there's a possibility that things can work differently for me because I'm a child of God. What is Victor saying this morning? I'm saying that don't align yourself to what the news is saying. Don't align yourself. Don't plan your life based on what is being said outside. Don't plan your life based on what you read in the newspapers, what the news says. Don't align yourself based on what your friends are doing and what's happening in their lives. Don't align yourself with that. People must might believe that for you to get here, you must need this. But if I think differently, I know one thing, that I'm being continuously renewed and transformed. Therefore, the power of God is with me. And where God is, nothing is impossible. Thinking differently is thinking as though there is no impossibility. Thinking differently is thinking that there is a way where there is no way. Thinking differently is thinking beyond your finances, thinking beyond your education, thinking beyond your connections. That is thinking differently. I want you to step out today with a mind that I will think differently. I will not look at what I have, but I look at what God has. The world has taught me that I have to have something in my hand, but the Lord has taught me I only need Him to be with me. But if I'm in the hands of God, it is better than what I have in hand. So this wonderful morning, as we step out, my dear friends, let's not be conformed. Don't settle. Don't sell yourself short. Do not settle. But be renewed. Be transformed. Move from glory to glory. Today has to be a better day than yesterday because you move from glory to glory. Things must work better for you today because you're moving from glory to glory. And that is your power to become. But you think differently. But your mind is wired differently. A victorious mind. A mind of Christ. That's my prayer for you today. Let us pray. King of kings, I thank you. But Father, you are good. And the Lord, you say that we don't conform our minds. We don't settle. We don't sell ourselves short. But Lord, this day has its own challenges. has got its own issues. has got its own plans. But Father, in the name of Jesus, I am choosing that, Lord, we will not be conformed. I am choosing that I will not be conformed. That I will not sit and look at life from the eyes of men. But, Father, look at this life from your eyes. Today I have an opportunity and I will take it, I will seize it. Because I am not conforming, but I am living as a child of the Most High God. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Remember, think differently.